morning, guys. I'm feeling great this morning. I woke up pain-free. Yes, can you hear me pain-free? I was jamming, but I had to mute the music in my video. So I just had to let y'all know how good I am feeling this morning, baby. Yes. Good morning, guys. It's Shay again and i'm back before we get started if you can go ahead and hit that like share or subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it so getting into it today we are talking about hair hair journey and as you can see right now i have dreads and i'm in the process of redoing them myself myself guys i'm doing it myself with my own two hands and i just want to talk about how this journey began so when i before i had dreads i had long thick healthy hair i mean it's still healthy but because my hands were not i was not able to do my hair i'm talking a regular ponytail y'all i'm talking and let me not forget the other reason i had to start dreads is because of the methotrexate the doctors had me on had my hair thinning all around the edges like oh my god what am i gonna do just trying to comb it back or just brush my edges and slick it back was not possible i'm talking every day waking up trying to go somewhere and do my own hair i break down crying because i'm not able to literally do anything to it and it was so thick and so much of it I literally just wanted to cut it off and just gave up with my hair. So instead, I decided to start dreads. It's less maintenance and I can just get up and go. And I only have to maintain it once a month. But this month, I went two months. As you can see, it's, it's looking real bad. But I didn't have to pay every two weeks. You give me every two weeks or every week to pay to somebody to do my hair. If it's one thing I know how to do is save them dollars, okay? So, I um, just want to let you guys see where, um, how far I've gotten so far and what it looks like. It's coming along and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it looked like from day one and the journey along the way and how it's been so far along the way. Just bear with me. So I do want to show you guys how I am doing this myself and how I do it myself, my own way. It's not perfect how, of course, like when I go get it done, but it looks a lot better than just leaving it the way it is with all this new growth. So what I do first is I spray each part and try to feel for the to make sure my strands aren't sticking together. I spray each section, get a little wax. This is the kind of wax that I like to use. Rub it real good in on my fingers. And then moisturize it real good with the wax. And then I get a hold of it and I just turn it and keep turning it. And if anyone is struggling using their hands, 
um, and struggling with doing their hair every day, I highly suggest starting dreads. It's going to save you money, time, energy, all that good stuff. I even had my daughter, I had to start my daughter's dread journey too because she has way more hair than I do. So I'm also going to show you guys her dreads because she just started her journey as well. So ran out of clips, but so far, so good. Just got this one little section there. Five hours later, and this is the finished product that I did all by myself with my own hands. 